Hello and welcome, I'm Ali Mortimer at Heal Yourself Happy and today I want to share a meditation with you which talks about the eight pillars of joy. So we are in the last week of our hot topic of joy and I thought this would be a lovely one to finish on because while we've only scratched the surface of joy I have a feeling we will be back to joy and have a bit of a part two and this really talks about everything that there is to do with joy in the eight pillars and it was written and included in the book um, the book of joy this book um, by the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu and I thought you would really enjoy this one this bank holiday Monday and just before I start I wanted to share something with you that's written in the book we are meant to live in joy the Archbishop explained this does not mean that life will be easy or painless it means that we can turn our faces to the wind and accept that this is the storm we must pass through we cannot succeed by denying what exists. The acceptance of reality is the only place from which change can begin. So acceptance is a key part of joy, especially when you've been suffering or you've not been very happy. And acceptance is a huge part of joy and one that we haven't really had time to focus on this month in the Hot Topic of Joy, but one that I would really love to focus on as we move through into another part two of joy sometime later in this year. So really that's just one of the eight pillars of joy and in this meditation we're going to go through the other seven pillars. So find yourself a comfortable position, whether you're sitting, lying, wherever you feel comfortable, but make sure it's relatively quiet somewhere where you're not going to be disturbed. <coughs> So I'd like you to just take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And do that again. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you take this last one, lift your shoulders up to your ears. And as you breathe out, let your shoulders drop. I want you to really give yourself permission to let go of everything right now. There are no expectations of you other than just to rest and relax. Listen to the sound of my voice or listen to the sound of your breathing. If you hear any noises, dog barking, the lawnmower, and your mind wanders, that's okay, it's just what a mind does. But just gently bring your attention back to the sound of my voice or the sound of your breathing. This meditation allows you to review the eight pillars and use them when you encounter a problem or if you need to confront any pain, face suffering. It's meant to soothe the ride on a bumpy road of life. So as you sit here comfortably, just place your hands on your lap or you can place them on your belly to feel your breathing. And let your body relax. We're going to reflect on each of the pillars. And you might notice that your body relaxes. As it relaxes even more, your heart will feel lighter. <coughs> so right now you might have a problem or a challenge. Let that problem come into your mind. Just reflect on that situation or the person or the challenge that is causing you pain or suffering. I'm going to try and give that problem some perspective. So see yourself and your problem from a wider perspective. Look to step back from yourself and your problem. See yourself and your struggle as if you were watching a movie about your life. Start to think about this problem from the future, from a year or even a decade from now. Can you recognise that your problem will pass. 
Can you see how your problem will shrink as you see it in the wider context of your life? We move to the second pillar of humility. Now see yourself as one of the seven billion people and your problem as part of the pain and suffering that so many human beings experience. Can you see your problem as part of the unfolding and interdependent drama of life on our planet and even see yourself from space or even from God's eye perspective? Can you see how deeply connected we are with one another? Can you see how you are part of flowering the universe in your particular place and time? See your connection to others and how it makes you stronger and more capable of solving your problem. Allow yourself to feel love and appreciation for all of those who have contributed to who you are and who support you in your life. Allow yourself to feel humility. The third pillar of joy is humour. Smile and see if you can chuckle at your problem, at your shortcomings, at your frailties. Are you able to find the humour in the situation and in your struggle? Even if it is a very grave or very serious situation, there is often some humour that can be found. The human drama is often a comedy and laughter is a saving grace. This ability to laugh allows us to accept life as it is, broken and imperfect, even as we aspire for a better life and a better world. Are you able to bring a smile to your lips? Fourth pillar is acceptance. Accept that you are struggling and accept that you have human limitations. Remind yourself that these painful realities do happen to us and to those that we love. Acknowledge that you cannot know all the factors that have led to this event. Accept that what has happened has already happened and that there is nothing you can do to change the past. And now you rem now remind yourself in order to make the most positive contribution to this situation, I must accept the reality of its existence. Acceptance can be one of the hardest things that we can do, but it's the foundation of being able to move forward. <clears throat> the fifth pillar is forgiveness. <clears throat> Place your hand now on your heart and forgive yourself for any part you have played in creating this problem or this situation. Recognise that you are only human and that you will inevitably fall short of your aspirations. You will hurt and you will be hurt by others. See the shared humanity of any others who are involved and forgive them for their part and for their human limitations. Allow yourself to forgive yourself. The sixth pillar in joy is gratitude. Think of three or more people or things that you're grateful for that are related to this problem right now. Are you able to find ways in which your problem may actually contribute to your life and growth? Are you able to be grateful for the people or the things that are supporting you 
to face this challenge. Move now to the seventh pillar, which is compassion. Keep your hand on your heart or place the palms of your hands together at your heart and have compassion for yourself and for how you are struggling. Remember, it takes time to grow and learn. You are not meant to be perfect and suffering is inevitable in this life. It is part of the fabric of all of our lives. There will be frustrations and the goal is to use them as something positive. Feel the light of loving kindness shining through from your heart and throughout your body. Let that compassion emanate out towards your loved ones, to anyone who you're struggling with, and all who are in the world who are in need of love and compassion. And move to the eighth pillar, which is generosity. Feel the deep generosity that is in your heart. Imagine yourself radiating this generosity of the Spirit all around you. Ask yourself, how can you give your gifts? How can you transform your problem into an opportunity to give to others? When we give joy to others, we experience true joy ourselves. Just now reflect back through those eight pillars of joy, perspective, Humility, humour, acceptance, forgiveness, gratitude, compassion and generosity. Use those pillars to find joy in your day. And now allow yourself to slowly come back to awareness. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And let it out through your mouth. And open your eyes. And take another deep breath. And take that joy with you throughout the rest of today. I hope you enjoyed that meditation. It was a beautiful one by the Dalai Lama and the Archbishop Tutu. It's one that you can call on at any point, at any time, or call on any of those eight pillars of joy and take those into your life. As always, I'd love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed that meditation, please do share with me in the Heal Yourself Happy Hub um, or do private message me. Have a lovely day.